Today we're going to go over the new Sharpie Mystic Gems. We're going to go over the ultra fine and the fine. There are 14 new colors. So they're selling them in packs of 12, which is a little confusing. They're actually 14 new colors. So I accidentally bought only 12 of one thinking it was 14. If you want to get the whole set, you have to get 24 unless you can find a set that has 14 Sharpies in it. So I know that's really confusing, but if you want all the colors, it's pretty much the only way to do it. Cause now I feel like I have to go out and buy the 24 pack. So instead of spending like 10 bucks on it, I have to spend another like $15, which I'm like, come on, why didn't I just buy the first one the right time? But that's okay. That's the thing with Sharpie is if you want to get the right colors, figure out how many colors like are new first and then go out and buy them. I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection. I hope you guys find the coolest art supplies out there and we're going over Sharpies today. And we've already swatched all these before, but I wanted to show you guys the specific Sharpies that came out this year from Sharpie, the new ones. These are brand new Sharpies and I wanted to make sure that you guys saw those so you kind of know what's going on with them. And next year, if there's new Sharpies, I'll do another video. So I hope you guys like this video and let's get these swatches started. This is the 12 count ultra fine. I made the mistake of buying that one. It's missing two, so hopefully I'm crossing fingers I can get them open stock, but we're gonna swatch these today. So we'll have two missing. And then we have a 24 that has the 14 in them. So these will have more than just the Mystic Gems. It comes in this one. I wish there was a way you could just buy the 14 because then you don't have to have those eight extra markers. These ones I haven't labeled already because they have not been opened, but I've labeled all these, which I highly recommend every time you get anything of Sharpies. And today, instead of a swatch chart, we're gonna do a swatch book. I've, I'll show you a little bit. I've done a bunch of swatches in here. I'll have to go through some of them with you, but uh, these are my swatches. I did. I'll have to do some of these videos, but I'm gonna do a page and I like to do like a page in between, especially for Sharpies. Sharpies are a little bit thicker and I don't want them to bleed through and go on the other swatch pages like I just did these. And you can see how you can see it kind of in the background a little bit. I wish I'd put two pages in between those ones. So it just means you'll have not as many in your book. I also have this swatch chart so we're just doing the Mystic Gems today, but I have this one and you can see this video where I did all of the swatches. So if you just want to get the swatch chart and put in your Mystic Gems, you can do that. So you can see, you can just fill in the Mystic Gems, but this is all the current Sharpies available right now. We're going to do some bullet journaling in here. So we're going to start at this top. Should we try to draw it like Sharpie draws it? <laughs> I'm really bad sometimes. We can. So you come in here, you just do the best you can. I mean, it probably take two lines. What I really like about these kind of journals is they already have the lines in them. So you don't have to be quite as exact. Okay, we're gonna maybe start here. So our S comes here. kind of looks like it. Okay. And then it's got some like cursive stuff going on. So we bring our H down, bring it over and down. And then our A comes down. It's kind of thin. I have no idea if this is any good at all. <laughs> Pick up a little bit, and then this isn't quite. And the E connects right here. I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> so what you can do now is you can do that a little bit. What, did I, what have I done with the other ones? Kind of, yeah, underline it a little bit, whatever you want. That's how you do that. I like to kind of make it fun, those those parts. The thing that we don't know is what colors come in here until we open it up. It 
Sometimes I try to open the back, but this time I'm just like, whatever. So we can pretty much match. If you're trying to figure out like what your Sharpie colors you have, because these have similar lids and everything, we can pretty much match them up. So that's what I'll do really fast, is I'll match them up. So what you can do is you can come down a couple. You can either do a square or a circle. I did a circle the other day and I really liked that, so I'm gonna do it again. Can you kind of just fill it in a little bit? We're gonna come down here and say, maybe just at the top here. Durr. I, I spell like half these things wrong. Okay, and then maybe what we'll do under here if we have like a matching one. So we'll come under here We'll do our line test. And look at that, I did it the circles and it filled in pretty well right there. And then what we'll do is we'll write the name on it, on here. That way we'll always know which one this is. And it's as easy as that. We'll come down here, do the same with the all the rest of them. You know what, maybe we should just do this. I'm gonna just do all, I'm not gonna include the reds and the blues and stuff like that. If that's okay with you guys. I'm just gonna do the Mystic Gems. So over here, this is kind of cool what we could do. We could come over here. Since this is kind of like the same color as this, it has this white in it, this white gradient. There's not really a white in here. So I'm not gonna do that, but I can come in here like this and write, write this like it is. So I'm gonna come in here and kind of write, I'm gonna do two lines instead of, they do one line, but I'm gonna make the font similar. That's where you can have a lot of fun with these when you're doing your swatches. You can try to make it look as close as possible to what it's saying. This purple is a little bit different. Oh, it's probably more like, mm, it's maybe a mix of those two. Okay, Mystic. and then I'm gonna come over here. Oh, here, here's a better thing to copy. And then I'll, I'll come in with the blue when we get to those blues. I'm just gonna write it to the side. That way we, it's always good to label your swatches, especially if you don't have a labeled swatch chart. And then this comes up really high. And then this is very interesting E. So it's almost like that comes out the same. Okay. And our M is huge. So that M is almost bigger than the other M. And then that S. I think the font is just a little bigger on that line. So then we have our Mystic Gems. And then we can come through here and just kind of like double up, up a little to make it a little bit thicker. Making it darker too, which I almost don't want it to be darker, but that's okay. I did want it to be a tad thicker than it was because it seemed a little thin. I'll show you how much this is bleeding through. This is why we did it on here. Look, it's almost bleeding through to that other page. So what I'm actually going to do I'm gonna take this random piece of scrap paper and just put it there. So that way none of it will bleed through as I go in my book. Like I said, these ones are super. If you do a bullet journal with Sharpies, I would definitely do it every other and maybe put something under it like that. 
Okay, so when we get to the blue, we will uh, put some blue around it, like that has blue around it. I think that'd be, like outline it in blue, that'd look kind of cool. This is purple fluorite. It's like, am I spelling this right? I do not think I spelled it right on here. I think I spelled it flower, but it's supposed to be fluorite. <laughs> That's okay. So now I'm gonna come down here. Okay. And then we'll label this. You know what we can do is we can come down to this side if we get too many. I don't know how many lines we're gonna have, but we'll make it look cute. So I'm gonna skip the red, I'm gonna skip the pink. They are part of the 24 set, but they're not the new Mystic Gem colors. So then I'm gonna come down here and then we'll be able to really easy figure out what we're missing. This one's Rose Quartz. Have you guys picked up these yet? They are so pretty. I love the colors. And it's super important when you get new Sharpies, like I said, to label them, because then you'll know exactly what they are. I'm so grateful that sometimes Sharpie only comes out with five colors a year. This year they came out with this many colors. Capricorn and Corral. Okay, let's see. I wonder if it's named after like Cabo um, in Mexico. I don't know. All right. That is so cute. I love it. And I'll just write the name again, but more legible. I can't, I, I will have to say I'm not always the most legible with everything. That's okay. Then we go to Amber. And then as soon as we get those single stock, we'll be able to Totally messed it up. Oh, that's okay. I'm supposed to swatch journals for <laughs> sit trying to make mistakes. I like doing them a gem because then it makes it kind of look gem like. <laughs> okay, C I T R I sit trying. Kind of look, makes it look like a gem. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Jasper Green. And we have a geode. That one's super pretty too.
You're gonna to want to make sure that you close these tightly so the next time you try to go use them, they're not all dried out. Because then you have to find one. Okay. This one's peacock We have two left stinks, but that's okay. So we could either put them on the next page or we can just put them here. I'm just gonna put them here next to the other ones. I could have done like seven, but I just did them until it went down. I could have done, done one line, but that's okay too. That's the thing about a swatch journal too, is it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Oh, I already did that one, guys. Okay, that'll be my mistake. Okay, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Maybe we could like cover that up by like doing some blending or something from right there. Okay. Oh, I keep, and then I write I had it in my head. Let's see if we can save this. Vi o Violet. Oh gosh. We'll, we'll do something with this to make it look intentional. Okay. There we go. We got the name on it, so we'll always know what that is. So what should we do there? We'll come through. We'll draw a circle on top of it like this. Then 
I'll show you what we'll do. It'll look pretty. Just you watch. I think we have that paper under this. on purpose to make this really cool effect. You can really tell the darker colors, right? So that gives you your color palette and maybe your blending palette too. An idea of what your blending palette will look like with these. And I think, yeah, this will be the last one. There we go. It was so intentional. <laughs> it was to make that color palette at the top, right? So I love making the swatch charts. So next time you go to use them, you'll have the names on them. You'll know the colors and you'll be able to use them right away. I hope you guys like those swatches. I thought it was really interesting. All the colors. I thought they were super pretty. They went together super well. Let me know which color was your favorite and would you guys buy these? And if you do, remember, buy the 24 or if you can find a 14 pack, buy that one. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.